Hello, it's Angela from Rhythm Wigs by Headspace NC. Welcome to another Maintenance Monday. I'm speaking to you today from my office. I was, you know, looking over some of my paperwork and realized that I had not given you some updates on the survey that I sent out to some of you. So I wanted to cover two of the big themes that I got from your feedback so far. And I also wanted to open up the survey to more of my customers. I only selected a subset before, but um, I, I really want to hear from more of you. And I am going to ask you to please complete the survey. There will be a link in the email that you get from me where you can um, respond to as many questions as you can. It will be highly appreciated and highly useful for me. As you know, my desire is to delight my customers. And even though I've done a ton of research, a ton of, you know, competitive analysis, looking at what is out there in the landscape for in this hair and wig industry, and design my company to give you the best, I think the ultimate way to make sure that I'm approaching or achieving that goal is to hear from my customers and respond to their feedback. And so I'm going to um, ask you to please give me that feedback. I will be um, entirely grateful. And um, so the two areas that I did want to cover today in terms of the feedback are the products that I use on the Rhythm Wigs and products that I would recommend for your own natural hair. And I also wanted to speak about the cost of the Rhythm Wigs and give you some insight into that so you can kind of understand that a little bit better. As you know, I use Hair Horizon products on all Rhythm Wigs. That is the only product that I use in preparing the wigs to be delivered to my customers. I've chosen Horizon for two reasons. One reason is because they are a black owned company. I believe in supporting black owned businesses, especially women. And this uh, company is owned by two women and they are local. I like to support local business people. And the primary reason, however, is because their products are gentle, organic, and not full of preservatives. I, that is important to me because what you may not know is that there are many wig companies, especially curly, kinky wigs like Rhythm Wigs, where when you buy them, you take them out of the package and you actually have to wash them and condition them and brush them and sometimes style them before they can be worn. So you get a product that is not wearable out of the box. And I saw that that was so, and I thought I really could serve busy professional women better by doing that for you. But by doing that, I wanted to make sure that the products were not in any way going to be harmful or, um, you know, trigger any allergies or things like that. So that's the reason why I chose Horizon. It is not the only products that work well on rhythm wigs, but I wanted to let you know why I chose Horizon. Now, the only um, caveat that I will give in terms of the products that you can use on your rhythm wigs are just a suggestion to use sulfate free products. Sulfates tend to be harsh and strip the hair a little bit more than I think is necessary. There are a lot of uh, um, shampoos and cleansing conditioners and conditioners in the market now that are sulfate free and I don't think you'll have any problems using those on the rhythm wigs. So feel free, uh, I may have mentioned to you, I think I did on an earlier video, that on my own wigs, I use Cantu products, sometimes I use Shea Moisture, it depends on what I want the wigs to look like on that particular day, on that particular wearing. So I do think that um, you are, uh, you would do fine in using the products that you have on these wigs. Just try to stay with gentle, especially if you have color in the wigs. Sulfate free is really what's recommended um, because th uh, the sulfates may actually strip the color 
sooner than you would like. So that's the only caveat. So you, you don't only have to use Horizon, but I did want you to know why I chose to use Horizon for these wigs that, that I sell to you, okay? Now I wanted to address products that you can use on your own natural hair. There are tons of wonderful products out there and they all serve different types of hair. You've probably heard about porosity. You've heard these different terms. I use them sometimes, the LCO, LOC method, all different um, uh, new information, especially on YouTube in the natural hair care market. Not only natural hair, but also um, colored and, uh, and permed hair. There are tons of of options out there for you. So it's really hard for me to cover all of them because not only do the different products behave differently on different hair, but you may like different looks in your hair. So using the same product as someone else may actually, you may like the result and someone else may not. What I will start doing is recommending YouTubers or, other, or products that I have either been following those people they make sense to me, they explain things um, in a very logical and clear way. Um, that I will start feeding to you. Um, there are a few products that um, seem really interesting to me that I might recommend. Uh, and so I'm going to start doing that in these Maintenance Mondays. Hopefully that will help you and that will um, answer some of the questions that you have. I really want you to, con to consider that the hair that grows out of our head, our scalp, the only part of that hair that is alive is the part that is under the surface in the follicle, the hair follicle. Anything that is out beyond the scalp is actually dead. And I say that because anything that it will feed or will, will um, make the hair softer or more manageable is not coming from the root of the hair. It's coming from you applying products to the hair because your hair is dead, okay? <laughs> I know that sounds kind of funny, but I hope that makes sense. Basically what I'm saying is that you will find that there are products that this hair will respond to in the same way that your own hair responds, okay? Um, really think of the two as the same because again, this is premium hair. The cuticle is intact. I've talked to you about some of what that means, but it really structurally, it's very similar to your own hair. And so um, don't be afraid to try different things. Again, just stay in the gentle product category, but don't be afraid to try things and see what works for you in the same way that you would try different things on your own hair. All right the cost of the wigs. So, um, I strive to use the best quality products that I can because I think you deserve it. Uh, and so to offer you the best, it's it costs. It's just like anything else. If you see a beautiful silk blouse, you may say, oh, that's really expensive but you may say, oh, but it's worth it, and I'm gonna get this for myself because it's worth it. Some things cost a lot, and they, they're not worth it. I would like to believe that these wigs cost what they do because you're getting quality, you're getting someone in me who is looking, always looking for the best, again, because I, I think that you deserve it, and I think that it's wonderful to, for you to have um, special wigs that you can wear that um, just allow you to feel confident because it looks so natural um, because it shows that you are um, you are um, uh, taking care of yourself that you are putting yourself in um, something that will will just make you look your best and so that's what I strive to do and so it is costly but it's because it's it's of a high quality. It's not because I am, you know, kind of um, trying to extract more money than than I than I should from my customers. Not at all. I bring you quality, and so quality cost. 
I think really if I, um, let's say I reduce the price of the, the wigs to what, take off $100, take off $200. For some people, that's still gonna be too much, right? And so these are not $50 wigs, these are not $100 wigs. Not only are you getting the good quality products, but you're also getting me, my dedication to you, to, to um, give you the best that's out there, to always kind of respond to your questions. Now, let me mention this wig that I'm wearing, okay? You guys have asked me for curly gray, and I've been scouring the hair universe, <laughs> looking for curly, good quality, cuticle intact, quality human hair, curly gray wigs. And I might have found it. I found this hair, I'm testing it now as I do with all of the hair that I offer to you on Rhythm Wigs. I do the testing, so I got this hair, I made this wig, I'm gonna test it out, try some products on it, but I'd love to get your feedback. But this is what I do, this is what I do. It takes time, it takes money, because if this doesn't work, I'm not gonna sell it to you, but I've spent the money to get it and to test it, and I have um, enough to make two of these. I'm gonna just try it out and probably send one to my sister because she will tell me what works, what doesn't, as sisters tend to do. And um, so I wanna test it thoroughly. So those are some of the things that, um, that I do that uh, is my commitment to all of you. And so you're gonna get products that are going to be a little more expensive, but I'm hoping that you will always say that it's worth it, okay? Um, so I also have to mention that unfortunately, or fortunately, which however you look at it, the prices of my wigs will be going up sometime early next year. It really is a result of recognizing that the products and the services and the experience that I give requires that I put uh, higher pricing on them. It will be impossible for me to sustain this business. And I know that you guys want me to stay in business. And I know that you do feel that you deserve the type of services that I offer, but I do have to increase my prices so that I can stay in business and so that I can continue to serve you in the way that I think you deserve to be served. I have not decided, I have not kind of calculated, I'm in the process of doing that now, working with my business coach. And also, I've heard from some of you. You've told me that, Angela, for what you do for me, the prices are, can, be, can be raised. And I know some of you may not believe that, but for people who know hair, who have been wearing hair either in wigs or weaves or things like that, they understand the quality that they're getting. And I really think that um, ultimately, for me to stay in business, it is gonna require me to raise some of the prices, especially um, around some of the additional services, the coloring, the, um, the special cutting that I do for, for some of you. So I'm looking at that and hopefully you'll understand and you will continue to support this business. One other really quick thing. One of my customers, one of my new customers, um, earlier today actually, she showed me something on her phone and it was this really, really cute wig um, or this really, really cute hairstyle, I'll, I'll say it that way. And she said, Angela, it was like $39 or something like that. And she said, Angela, can you explain why does this wig, it says it's human hair, why does it cost $39? And I said, first of all, it wasn't a wig. Um, what happens a lot of times is you see these um, advertisements on social media or in, in other areas, these cute little wigs or beautiful long wigs, and they say that they're Remy, and they say that they're Virgin, and they say that they're raw, top quality, premium. And I've seen so much tomfoolery, trickery, I mean, people will say anything. Med much of the time, they are not even wigs. They are people's real hair, real pictures of people 
with hair growing out of their heads and they take that and they use that to advertise as wigs and they're not wigs okay um, there are just a lot of unscrupulous people in this industry so the final thing that I want to say is you don't have to buy from me I hope that you do but you don't have to buy from me but please buy from someone that you trust not just anything that you see online it will cost you money because you'll buy products that may look great may feel great but they won't last or you'll get it in the mail and you'll take it out and it's like this looks nothing like what you know what I saw on my computer um, and I really just want you to take the time to find um, hair companies where you can establish trust read some reviews um, talk to other people who may have bought their products and um, find your own level of trust and buy those products don't just look and say oh that's $39 so if Angela's wigs cost you know three four hundred dollars it, it it has to be overpriced not at all there are definitely high quality wigs out there that cost seven eight nine a thousand two thousand five thousand dollars for good quality wigs and so um, I think that Rhythm Wigs pricing is always going to be competitive. Um, you will always find quality in my products. If you find otherwise, I'm here, right? A lot of these companies, they're only online. I'm one of the few wig companies that have a physical space where you can go if you have issues or if you want changes, if you bought a uh, rhythm wig and it wasn't colored and you decide you want it to color, you can bring it to me. There are places, there's a physical place you can come. Many of my competitors are only online. Okay, um, so uh, anyway, I'm going to end there. I don't want to keep you for long, but please do complete the survey for me. There will be a link in the Maintenance Monday email that you get. I would really appreciate it. It helps me to help you. I will say nothing but thank you. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.